Hi, I'm Hilma Volk, and I'm going to talk about a problem that's actually fairly common, and that's numbness in your hands when you're riding a bicycle, a motorcycle, other equipment such as snowmobiles, ATVs, uh, handling lawn equipment, uh, stuff like that. So, there are several reasons why you can have numb hands um, operating these things. And uh, what helps your friend who's had numb hands may not help you. So before you make expensive modifications to your pieces of equipment or your bicycle, uh, check out what you can do for yourself first. Because uh, the problem may be more in your body than in the bicycle but, or motorcycle, whatever. Okay, so one of the most common problems but not the only problem, is the pectoralis minor muscle, which comes from actually a piece of your shoulder blade that comes sticks out underneath your collarbone, and the muscle attaches from there, that little piece called the coracoid process, to the third, fourth, and fifth rib. Now, I'm not going to discuss the pectoralis minor muscle here because I've got another video on that, so please check out that video. But how do you know if you've got a pectoralis minor problem? The easiest way to tell is if you've got some spare time. Uh, <laughs> actually, when you're just laying down or watching TV or something like that when you're not doing anything better, uh, raise your hands over your head like this or so. And keep them there for maybe 20 minutes. If your hand, if your fingers gotten it, get numb, most likely you've got a pectoralis minor problem. May not be your only problem, but uh, watch my videos, see what you can do for those. Because there's a self massage and also stretches you can do for your pectoralis minor muscle. And because when you got your hands up like this, riding a motorcycle, riding a bicycle, whatever. Uh, Doing this can cause numbness in your hand if you've got that problem. Okay, another problem if you're riding a bicycle or a motorcycle is a lot of times you've got your hands like this or like this. Um, this can cause strain on the tendons that go through the carpal tunnel ligament and strain on your forearm. The thing you want to do before you spend money on your bicycle is uh, look at my video that tells about the hand, wrist, and forearm, and the video about health help techniques for the hand, wrist, and forearm. And these are self-massage techniques that can really loosen up those forearm muscles and, uh, and relieve the problems that you've got there. Because just about anybody who does anything with their hands, they're going to have tight forearm muscles. Okay, now, you're going to watch those videos, right? Yeah, got them. Okay, now, when you're riding a bicycle, make sure that your arms aren't like this or that, or you don't have deviation. This puts tremendous strain on your tendons. What you might want to consider is grips. Now, if you're riding a motorcycle or something else of high performance, you probably want to get um, grips that are made especially for your bike. So check if you're uh, your bike dealer your motorcycle dealer, check online, whatever. There are a um, number of grips that are made for motorcycles and uh, because of the high speeds involved you want to have something already manufactured for you. Now if you're riding a bicycle there's a couple of uh, cheap things you can do. Uh, one is uh, take a tennis ball and I don't have a tennis ball with me to show you but slice it in halfway through and uh, then make some other slits or <laughs> or cuts to get that tennis ball around your grip so that you're gripping the tennis ball so it gets a nice straight line of your hand when you're riding the bicycle. You don't want this, you don't want that and you want a nice comfortable grip and a tennis ball does that pretty well. Another thing you can use is um, pipe insulation not the great big pipe insulation because you don't want to have a big grip like that. You want a grip that's comfortable and natural. So there's these small, smaller pipe insulations. Um, the insulation is about maybe a quarter inch and it's kind of foamy. And then how do you attach it to your bicycle? Well, if you're really, really cheap and tacky, you can uh, <laughs> use duct tape. 
or there are things like self-adhesive bandages, like ACE bandages that are self-adhesive. There's other products. Uh, you can get them at some drug stores, medical supplies, even uh, <laughs> places that sell horse equipment because a lot of people use them for bandages of horses. They're self-sticking. They've got a nice sticky grip on them, uh, but they're not they're not adhesive sticky, they just stick to themselves. Makes a nice grip. And if those work out for you, you can spend some money on uh, on custom made grips or or manufactured grips. But hey, do what you can now. Just a word of caution if you're using grips. Uh, it's going to affect the way you break your bike. Now, the brain, the brain, uh, when you're doing routine things, uh, the subconscious mind takes over and so you don't have to think about things all the time you just break your bicycle because it's used to doing it the way it always has now if you modify your bike you don't want to go out in traffic you just ride your bike where there's no traffic and brake several times so that your brain gets used to the new <laughs> the new way you, you, you grip to brake because you don't want to be out in traffic and you subconsciously try and brake and the brakes aren't where they used to be. Okay, another thing is this is a neutral position for your arms as opposed to this. Having your arms down like this, you're, you're using a muscle which goes um, think from there basically from here to here called the pronator teres. You can feel that if you squeeze your your forearm just below the elbow and move your arms like this. Feel this muscle rolling back and forth between you. That's the pronator teres and its job is to go like this. These That muscle can be very tight and when your hands down like this it can pinch on the nerves into your fingers. So actually this having vertical handlebars is a more neutral position for for riding than, than, than this is which could put a strain on some people okay so those are things you can do other things you might want to check out they're less common than the pectoralis minor or or the forearm area which includes the hands and whatnot um, is the scalene muscles and you can tell if they're tight if you just take the edge of your collarbone and grip along it and push into those muscles if they're tender um, that can be a problem too because when your neck is forward those muscles can tighten up and pinch on the nerves that go into your hands <laughs> I've got another video on that so I'm not going to explain that either and so if if you push here and you're feeling tenderness that's another possible area where the nerves are being pinched one other possible place is if you ride with your neck at a funny angle try putting your head back at a funny angle when you're not riding your bike and if that causes numbness in your hands you may have a neck problem back there um, I, that's for a video yet to come <laughs> or um, you may want to check out a chiropractor okay thanks <laughs>